Impala. The Impala Apiceros melampus, is a medium-sized antelope found in eastern and southern Africa. The sole member of the genus Apiceros, it was first described to European audiences by German zoologist Hinrich Lichtenstein in 1812. Two subspecies are recognized, the common Impala, and the larger and darker black-faced Impala. The Impala reaches 70 to 92 centimeters at the shoulder and weighs 40 to 76 kg. It features a glossy, reddish-brown coat. The male's slender, lyre-shaped horns are 45 to 92 centimeters long. Active mainly during the day, the Impala may be gregarious or territorial depending upon the climate and geography. Three distinct social groups can be observed, the territorial males, bachelor herds and female herds. The Impala is known for two characteristic leaps that constitute an anti-predator strategy. Browsers as well as grazers, Impala feed on monocots, dicots, forbs, fruits and acacia pods, whenever available. An annual, three-week-long rut takes place toward the end of the wet season, typically in May. Rutting males fight over dominance, and the victorious male courts female in estrus. Gestation lasts six to seven months, following which a single calf is born and immediately concealed in cover. Calves are suckled for four to six months, young males, forced out of the all-female groups, join bachelor herds, while females may stay back. The impala is found in woodlands and sometimes on the interface ecotone, between woodlands and savannas, it inhabits places close to water. While the black-faced impala is confined to southwestern Angola and Kaukoland in northwestern Namibia, the common impala is widespread across its range and has been reintroduced in Gabon and southern Africa. The International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, classifies the impala as a species of least concern. The black-faced subspecies has been classified as a vulnerable species, with fewer than 1,000 individuals remaining in the wild as of 2008. Description the impala is a medium-sized, slender antelope similar to the cob or grants gazelle in build. The head and body length is around 130 centimeters. Males reach approximately 75 to 92 centimeters at the shoulder, while females are 70 to 85 centimeters tall. Males typically weigh 53 to 76 kilograms and females 40 to 53 kilograms. Sexually dimorphic, females are hornless and smaller than males. Males grow slender, lyre-shaped horns 45 to 92 centimeters long. The horns, strongly ridged and divergent, are circular in section and hollow at the base. Their arch-like structure allows interlocking of horns, which helps a male throw off his opponent during fights. Horns also protect the skull from damage. The glossy coat of the impala shows two-tone coloration, the reddish-brown back and the tan flanks. These are in sharp contrast to the white underbelly. Facial features include white rings around the eyes and a light chin and snout. The ears, 17 cm long, are tipped with black. Black streaks run from the buttocks to the upper hind legs. The bushy white tail, 30 cm long, features a solid black stripe along the midline. The impala's coloration bears a strong resemblance to the gerenuk, which has shorter horns and lacks the black thigh stripes of the impala. The impala has scent glands covered by a black tuft of hair on the hind legs. Sebaceous glands concentrated on the forehead and dispersed on the torso of dominant males are most active during the mating season, while those of females are only partially developed and do not undergo seasonal changes. There are four nipples. Of the subspecies, the black-faced impala is significantly larger and darker than the common impala. Melanism is responsible for the black coloration. Distinctive of the black-faced impala is a dark stripe, on either side of the nose, that runs upward to the eyes and thins as it reaches the forehead. Other differences include the larger black tip on the ear, and a bushier and nearly 30% longer tail in the black-faced impala. The impala has a special dental arrangement on the front lower jaw similar to the tooth comb seen in Strepsa rhine primates, which is used during a logrooming to comb the fur on the head and the neck and remove ectoparasites.